And that's how I felt about trap on yeah, my end. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, and I knew, I, start, start, start I knew, I knew, I knew Yellow had some because he used to yeah. come around too. But I, I, I don't. With that time, I was fucking hard with trap, and I still yeah. fuck with trap tough right now. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Man, just just looking at everything that we've talked about today, man. You know, yeah. um, man, we, this Dallas, we in Dallas, Texas, really. And uh, when you think about the movement of the music and just all around right now, how do you feel about the music and where it's at? Like, is it is them hit records coming out? Uh, wh- wh- where is music at right now? I ask you and you the same question. Is this oh, how long? Is this for Dallas? No, though? this just no, for everybody. Oh, I want to know about Dallas. That'll I, be a good question. Well, we can talk about Dallas first, but I want to hear his overall. Yeah. But that nigga know you, a lot. You said overall. No, nah, right now let's talk about Dallas. Right, let's talk we about going, Dallas. We going overall next. All right, so. Dallas. What though? Like, is like, it, like the hip-hop music, hip hop scene. What do you think? Dallas. Well, I feel back. like. I feel like. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Tell the truth. I feel like. I feel like. All right, you know that 2017 when I was telling you finesse two times and all the other yeah. ones. Mm-hmm. I had like Trap Boy Freddy too. Like yeah. I was, I was, I was, you know, one of them ones. Like when I get a hold to you, we gonna work. Yeah. yeah. If not every week, every other week, yeah. me and you gonna be yeah, together. Trap Boy and, and 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 Dolph had a relationship too. Yeah. So 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 Pete. So. I felt like at that time Dallas too I could feel the vibe Of how it was going It had a mean wave Like it was mean And you know I had just linked With the Go Yeah Yo And all that So yeah. it was mean out here But um, As of right now It's kind of like When you say mean What you mean? It was raw Like this was Could have been The next Atlanta type shit Yeah yeah, I seen it. I felt you it. Feel me? Like yeah. it was, it was, it was, it had some next shit. Next to pop. We were Ooh, bubbling. This motherfucker yeah. was going. It could have been the next Memphis or whatever the case yes. was. It was, it was there. And and then all of a sudden, I knew the dancing shit was going to stop, right? Because yeah. that shit, I've been seeing that a long time. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I done seen shit. I was, I was right there with Swag Surfing. My partner signed him. I seen it. I was at the video shoot. I know them niggas personally. I know the song. You know, everything about it. But I'm saying, I know the dance and shit, and it, it never stops. Lasts. It never it's, lasts. It stops. So I knew that part of it was gonna stop. You feel me? Like, cause it had like the J Money, the uh, ten forty. He was going crazy with the people dancing, and all the little kids out here mm-hmm, was dancing. Mm-hmm. Like ten K cast, all of them was yeah, out here. Yeah. But I knew that was gonna slow down. But I knew the rap shit could keep going. The rap shit slowed down too. The da- dancing shit slowed down. Now Dallas just Dallas again. It even made the club slow down. See, cause I was just telling my little blood homie at the spot before I got here. I said, "Damn, any other time I used to come out here to Dallas, we'll be going out regardless tonight. It didn't yeah, matter if niggas yeah. was sick or a nigga didn't want to or not. Nigga, we finna go throw some money or something. Yeah. But now nigga come out here, see, nigga like mm. I ain't trying to go to the club. Yeah. Or if they trying to go, they like we got. Can we bring our Drake gutter? Can we bring our stick? <laughs> you know, niggas like I'm like, damn, this shit." Just in change real wow. quick, that, so uh, we have to get that back. That's my that's my take on Dallas right now. It's just wow. saying, it's kind of like we need that. It ain't as it ain't as cool as it was getting. It was getting real cool out this bitch. You know how about what I mean? You, how you feel? <laughs> like, what you think, bro? They waiting on me. They waiting on you. <laughs> no you bullshit. from Dallas? That's yeah. a you cold from Dallas? Shit. I'm from Flint, Michigan, but I've been here. Oh, for a my second. family from Flint. I had my flag around. You hear that, baby? Yeah. Flint, Michigan, uh, in the building, man. Mm-hmm. So you you feel like they're just waiting on you? They wave up. You see the you see the wide open lane, right? Oh, they ready. Yeah, they ready. Oh, wow. What do you think? Why you why you saying? I'm on it from the OG, bro. You know when I went to that, you was at rodeo. To, yeah, the rodeo. The rodeo made me just sit back and just think about. That's the shit Dallas. you got shot up. No, 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 no. He was with Bum B and that the rodeo. Oh, okay, 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 and all okay, 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 okay. Well, that rodeo was so big, man, and. And like I, I told this other, I told this guy this the other day that no one, Bun told me this after the show. I think I talked to you. Yeah, yeah, it. you talked to me. Nobody about. on that show ever had a number one song, ever. And you got to hear the lineup that was on that show. I a mean, millionaire, a millionaire. But they put seventy three thousand six hundred people in there. Fast forward to what we doing in Dallas two weeks ago. We have a deal where we got all our pretty much our, our big stuff. Pookie Lucci, uh, who was that? Little Ronnie, Little Ronnie was there. Fat Pimp was there. Bro, it's about 200 people in there, bro. In a place that hold over 1,000. There's no support from the city. There's no support from the fans. The artists don't have the grind that they should have. Some of them. 
The ones that's gonna make the good music gonna grind. Good music gonna bubble up anyway. Don't you agree? I agree. If you make a hit, it's undeniable. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I remember when a dude at my job told me about trap. He said, "Man, I like this little nigga here, man. Trap, trap boy, Freddie. Listen to him." I said, "Okay, I'll listen to him." He talk about drugs too much though, but I like him, so I listened to him. And one of the songs on there had Yellow Beezy on it. Mm-hmm. Listen to this shit. I say, I like this nigga's style, so I started gravitating toward Yellow Beezy shit, and his his style started being more something that I knew was more marketable. Not what's up, trap? That's my nigga. But I knew Yellow Beezy had something. Mm-hmm. It's undeniable. You and, know what and, I mean? But I, and that's how I felt about Trap on yes. my end. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Like, and Trap I knew, stop, stop I, knew I knew Yellow had something because he used to yeah. come around too. But I, I, I at that time I was fucking hard with Trap, and I still yeah. fuck with Trap tough right now. But it was that but song. I just knew, like, I knew he was. He dropped the right song. I knew, and then it was this though. I pull up on him though, bro, and he really over there hustling, bro. Like I'm saying, like he got CDs, he got T-shirts, yeah. he yeah. got like, bro. That was the old school hustle that I the was used work. to. So this nigga Everybody really don't do that. No, this Everybody nigga was that. really hustling. So I'm like, man, this nigga go. It don't matter what a nigga say. This nigga right here gonna make it because yeah, nigga, yeah. he really rap hustling. Well, he still gonna make it. Yeah, niggas didn't know how to. It. Niggas didn't know how to. Ra- no. these niggas don't know how to rap hustle. Not up there. That nigga rap hustle. Not up here, man. Not, yeah, like Dallas a white collar city, man. We more corporate, man, and like down in Houston. Like I said the last time I was here, them boys will roll up their sleeves, and they come from a harder struggle than what we came from. Bro, look, I sit over there at, at Trap Boy Spot, and I see him sit over there, and people call and be like, "Are you there?" And people will pull up buy a CD for ten or twenty dollars. They'll buy a shirt or something too. And then Lee, boom, somebody else will pull up. I'm like, damn, this nigga got a trap without selling drugs. He's yeah. selling rap. But he going hard. He rolling. Yeah. That nigga you. rolling. I know where you are. Like, he I was rolling, nigga. Yeah. Like, nigga, I was impressed, nigga. I was at this nigga. here, gutter, boy. That nigga wow. hard, fool. I already, like I said, I, I love the way he, way he hustled, too. You know, I see yeah. it in the city. And he moved through stop. the city like a regular cat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like that. He, know, he, he don't act all superstars. Yeah. I, I seen yeah. travel. Well, well, he went to jail man. the other day. They had yeah, him on the ground. Him. But I think I did see that, too. He was cutting up. He was yelling that shit. He was yelling on the ground. Bro, I told you about the time I was at work. I was at the car dealership. He come through the front door. Yeah. I said, let me holler at you. Come right over. Cool, brother. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.